We see the good ship Mayflower, ready to carry to the new world its cargo of hopeful pilgrims, each anxious to help carve a great empire out of the wilderness across the sea. Hurry up, fellas, raise the gang. Ip, 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 oh, leave it down. All the shore is going ashore. All of the people aboard. Ship the gangplank, break out the mainsail, batten down the hatches, ship them the timbers. Hoist the anchor! Hoist the anchor! <laughs> is soon left behind and slowly disappears below the horizon. Oh, pilgrims all are we, far from the bounding blue. We want a historical spree and a little hysterical too. Sometimes it's very scary the way the ocean raves. We often think that darn old things should have some permanent ways. We'll reach the other side, we simply cannot fail. If we can't get over by boat, we'll make the trip by rail. Boat? We'll fight the angry sea, battle for wind and wave. We'll reach the land of the free and the home of the brave. Captain Porky keeps a careful record of the vessel's progress in the ship's log. Here's the ship's cook. Hey, cook, how about some fresh fish for dinner? Okay, boss. It's a little too small. On the second day out, off our lee side, we sight a group of flying fish. Suddenly, without warning, the sea becomes turbulent, the waves grow choppy, and white caps appear. Close. 
Now let's see how the cookie is making out with that fish. How's this one, boss? No, no, that's still not large enough. Finally, evidence appears of approaching civilization. journey almost over, Captain Porky carefully eases the Mayflower into Plymouth Rock. <laughs> Captain Porky Pig is welcomed by the friendly Indians and their famous leader, Chief Sitting Bull. the voyage of the Mayflower and, oh yes, I wonder how the cook is doing with that fish. How's this one, boss? Yes, that's plenty big. That's good. 